Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Alundra. I'm your Dungeon Master Darius. Last we left off, we were a little bit stumped on one puzzle. Just, just a smidgen. Uh, and now we gotta get back up to it, which I think, yeah, I need to basically backtrack the entire way. Mind you, most of these puzzles are relatively simple. Relatively. Relatively. So getting you back through them is not going to be a much of a problem. Not to mention, we have opened up a couple of shortcuts along the way, so... Uh, I don't think I went through... Yeah, I didn't go through this door before. Ugh. God, burned through those herbs super quick, didn't I? Well, I want what's in that treasure chest. Obs, so. Go away, wormies. How many worms are here? Is this just a never ending supply of worms? In which case, screw that. Alright, so I think it's just doing that. Thanks, game. Legit, after that what after going through that one puzzle as long as I have. Legitimate, thank you. Never really thought I'd be thanking the game for uh For granting me healing because of a puzzle. Don't you dare be a room that's full of everlasting worms. Was it because I know what I have to do here, it seems? Or do I? I call shenanigans. But all right. See, what I thought I was gonna have to do is take. Okay. It is what I'm gonna have to do. It's just that for some reason I thought I couldn't lift that rock. Let me up out of the soil. Thank you. There we go. Okay. What do now? Well, now we just gotta try to get through the hell of this place. Manate. Kind of interesting. They make it so as... They make it so as those things are basically invincible as long as you, um... It... You are so finicky, game. If you're off by even a little bit, you can't make this jump. Do not be timed. You crapping crapper. Oh, come on, this is so dramatic. Okay. Plan B. I, mm, I don't know why I thought plan B was gonna work. <sighs> okay, first off, is that gonna work at all? Okay. Gonna wait for it to do its thing. Immediately start. Yeah, there we go. Did it. 
Come here, just come here, B. Why is it always that I have to switch to the sword for the bees? Are the bees an everlasting source of nutrition here? I'm going to take that as a yes. It's mostly because I don't want to be hunting down bees for like five hours. Fifteen Gilded Falcons. If your determination is one with the four of us, the path shall be swiftly open to you. May the gods make your path straight near low light. Okay. Now that we've done that one, let's go back to the other puzzle. Oh boy. Ow. I definitely made the other puzzle way harder in my head somehow. I tend to do that. This was the way I'm trying to go, right? No. Now nah, the other the other way was a shortcut. Or a way to open a shortcut. And then this way. Just where I had to go. Of course, you didn't give me health. Why would you? You cruel, sadistic. It is a little bit of a hard game. Right then, those. I guess I should just be grateful that I don't have to do all of these puzzles all over again. Because let's face it, then I'd go insane. Alright, you know what? So the guide I'm looking at says that it's more or less a roulette, but it's after five times do you, um... He did it! But I think I figured it out. So what it is, is that you have to hit them... Oh hey, that actually worked. You have to hit them and run. Excuse you? At least the barrels don't hit, hurt you. Um, sorry. You have five chances, more or less. Five chances. And once you have exhausted those five chances, only the uh, spike balls will appear. It's not a roulette, as much as it does seem like it. Yeah, you have five chances, but you need two barrels in order to make a bridge from uh, the one side to the other. Actually, would this way be faster? One. Aha. Why does it suddenly feel like I'm running slower? Did it. But yeah, it is not a roulette. Pretty much the one on the furthest side is the one that gets activated. Uh, so you have to run over to it. Realizing this through trial and error can be one of the most annoying things, but hey. Trial and error. Observation. Sometimes I'm terrible at terrapel at it. Ah. Trying to hide things on me, are you, game? Do what? Huh. Confused about that one. Oh, unless it's like a time thing? Now I have absolutely no clue what the hell is going on in this room. Am 
Like as soon as you miss one? Is there an order to it? Not even sure what the hell the prize is, is in here. Okay. Star. That was weird. Uh, eh? Wait, what? <sighs> okay. I think it is an order thing. Maybe it's teardrop, sun, star, moon. Pick up the thing. Ah. Is it timed? Ah. Uh. Maybe it is just timed. Yeah, it's it's timed as soon as I enter the room. So if I go down here first. Oh. Ha! That is a weird ass timer, but okay. Get it when you get it. <sighs> Ignore stairs, jump for your life. Okay. And that's the fourth of them. Because your will is strong, I shall direct you to the next path. Use insight to discern my meaning. Behold what the master of the keep speaks. May the gods make your path straight to near low light. Now, I believe I have to go to... the first room again. I believe. Nope, not this way. I gotta go through the ladder situation that was up here. Me. Excuse me. I guess I am being the rude one in this situation where I am, you know, shoving them off to the side. But to be fair, they are trying to murder me with hooks. So, yeah. Let's see. Now before I talk to this master dude, I think I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to get, get those herbs I couldn't get before. Or try to. Yeah. One, one herb. Ah, ah, ah. I am kind of lamenting having used the uh, strength tonic. Right. This was that. And I've already collected that one, so never mind. One herb. Should be fine. Should mean the operative word here. I haven't used any of my magic, any of my any of my uh, life vessels or god or any of that.
Release her. Follow the path of true righteousness and she'll not be left wanting. Well, all right. Oh. <laughs> yep. I, I I remember what's expected of me here. Basically, I uh, gotta hit these levers. Basically. I'm a genius. I forget which game it was. Um, what game was it? There is a game much like this, when a very Zelda-like game, also that has a flail in it. But when you shot out the flail, you could actually spin it around you. That's initially what I was trying to do in the first place. But nope, in this one it's just fly -o, fly -o. fly -o. fly -o. Yeah, it's one of those times where it's like, the flail will be super helpful, but you also deal... Oh, you jerks. Uh, the flail is super helpful, but it's just slow. And those worms will spawn in? And the second they, they spawn in, the hitbox activates, but as soon as they start start to disappear, they will uh, become invincible. But yeah, pardon the mild flashing. Let's see, sun. Frick you, I did that in time. Oh, of course. Timing in my puzzle of action adventures? More likely than you think. All right. It's such a weird timing. And these goddamn... Mm. Mummies? I'm gonna call them mummies, if only because... I don't know what their names are, but at the same time... I feel like it's not mummies. I did that way too early that time. What is the timing? Oh, heck on. God, I'm gonna be stuck here because of timing. Alright. It's not... It's like it's not as soon as the next one appears. But it's soon after it appears. Balls! Don't mind me. Just slowly getting frustrated at myself. <sighs> slowly nothing. I'm just frustrated at myself. See, I don't know what it is. Sometimes when it's just... Alright. There we go. This one, I need to do it when the sun is on screen. The sun! The sun! You stupid finger!
I'm not getting mad at the game, I'm getting mad at myself. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it. Like, I know what it needs to be done. My mind knows what needs to be done. But as soon as I actually need to try to do it, I will mess it up. Not a word. Yeah, the jumping technique works every so often, but I think these guys are just a little... smidgen too tall or too short. I'm not sure. Okay. What? What? I swear the timing changes every single time that I go into here. <sighs> Didn't think I'd push that far into him, but okay. It's fine. I do not remember this part of the dungeon taking as long as it is. But that might also just be because... Partially going insane now at this point. Let me pick it up. Just let me pick it up. Start over again, please. I beg of you. Uh. Wouldn't it be so bad if I didn't have to kill these guys? Every oh, okay. I don't need to kill them every single time, but if I'm going to be non-pressured while I'm trying to do a puzzle, then yeah, I need them to die. I'm going to cry. I'm going to break my thumb off and then I'm going to cry. Please piss off. I oh, I hate you. 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 Can I please get some healing. Why, why did I do it at the teardrop? One second. Is there any healing within these things? Surprisingly, yes. Sometimes it's like the game just suddenly does figure out, Oh, hey, you're in need of healing. Like, yes, game, thank you. I thank you for recognizing this. Oh boy. And now to try to kill this thing without picking up any of the statues. There we go. Pure drop. This one I need to... So ho ho. Uh, I nearly screwed that one up. Ha <laughs> did it! I was super worried for a second that I did that last one too early. Super worried about it. I hate you. Uh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten hits with a flail. 
Great Sun's gaze is held fast by his shimmering reflection on the water. Turning away with regret, he casts a glance upward at the starry sky where Brother Moon resides. What? Sun's gaze is held fast by his shimmering reflection on the water. I'm assuming up down. Turning away with regret, he casts a glance upward at the starry sky where Brother Moon resides. The fact that this might work is kind of ridiculous. Just, just a couple of pixels closer. A couple of pixels. Don't. Please, I beg of you. Oh boy. Okay, wait. No, it wasn't up, down, left, right. It was some sort of great sun reflection in the water. Glance upward at the starry sky where Brother Moon resides. So... If I was not an idiot with any sort of comp reading comprehension, I would say it would be sun, teardrop, star than moon sun teardrop I think it might have been in the reverse So, sun, teardrop, star, moon becomes moon, star, teardrop, sun? Bit of a hierarchy here going on. Um... No? Overcomplicating? Oh, min minimally complicating? Hmm. Well, it's definitely not tier. Hmm. Let me read that thing again. Great Sun's gaze is held fast by a shimmering reflection on the water. Turn away with regret. He casts a s Oh, I'm reading this wrong. Held fast by shimmering reflection on the water. This is the sky upward at the starry sky where the brother moon resides. So ooh, teardrop Sun Star I don't know why I'm assuming that I have to stack them. Also because if I think that if I have to put one up there, I'm never going to get it back. Uh... Hmm... Or maybe it's moon and then stars. Uh. Okay. See, reading comprehension tells me that the order of which that they were mentioned in was the thing. But okay. It's fine.
That looks like a boss. That's the boss. Uh. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The letters S W E N are engraved on the wall. So southwest, east, north. <sighs> okay. Alright, I see what I have to do. In order to activate the boss, I have to do this correctly. Southwest, east, north. North, north. South west is this way. East. I hate, I, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate. Mm. At least I don't have to kill goddamn 20 hit mummies every single time. What? Oh, south, west, east, north. Okay. In order. Trial and error. Right? South. West. East. North. Ah, oh, that's a bad sign. It's a good sign, but it's a bad sign. Oh, I gotta do it tw twice. Longer episode, folks. What's this one re- eh. North, east, west, south. And my eternal hatred for myself continues. I just make sure. North, east, west, south. West. And south. I very narrowly miss messed that one up again. Now, just to make sure, I do have a strength elixir, which I want to use when I'm low on health. Magic elixir, which I want to use pretty much as soon as I use all my magic. And then, wondrous elixir, which I want to use when I have no magic and low health. Otherwise, it's herbs all the way. Theoretically. Mummies are life. You know, I think this guy might be like the last time I fought a guardian. You guys know which one I'm talking about. I could spam Earth Scroll on the bastage. If I can. Oh, God. Oh. Three, three, three of the squir scrolls is what was needed. Aha. Defeated the Shrine Protector. Yeah, I think that was the same... Basically the same boss from other place. 
Thank you. Oh boy, another one of these. Thank you. Seriously, the fact that they gained immunity as soon as you start trying to kill them, really annoying. Really? Okay, I think it is much the same pattern as before, though. Yep. What? It's fine, it's fine, just... I think it's the same pattern as before, yes, but it also has the unfortunate uhness of catching me when I've already done this once. Alright. No. I think I only need three of them. Let me test this theory. There we go. Uh... Game, I just beaten your boss. Okay, I, th I thought that these were spiky spikes. Nah, they're just invisible walls for whatever reason. Ah, timing. It's a maze, but without the walls, so you can actually see wherever the hell it is you're going. I guess I can't complain. Just that you have a little bit of a time factor to it. <laughs> there are worse puzzles. Uh, okay. I'm gonna guess too that once we. When we do fall. And trust me, I will fall. Or not. I will have the unfortunate uh, pleasure to start all over again. Oh, this is an ominous. Hello? You have proven your courage in coming here, Redisa. However, courage alone shall not end in salvation. You must also be a strong warrior. You shall face the test of strength, Redisa. I pray that you are truly strong enough to succeed. Oh, hi. So I have magic. Don't know if you, uh, if you all would have known this. Do I really want to use a, a wondrous elixir just to punk three more of these guys? I'm sorely tempted to at this point. Gib. Yay. Pass the test of strength. Where three dudes just suddenly turned into mummies and tried to eviscerate me. Oh. You are truly worthy of the power you possess. Your courage shall not go unrewarded. Ooh. 
We have a sword. A proper sword. So if uh, wiki guides and whatnot are to go generally craft a sword, charge by holding square. Yeah. So if we, wiki guides and whatnot are to be trusted, this actually has double the power of the dagger. Always appreciate more health. Always, always. And... The long boots. These babies will actually allow me to move in sand and water naturally. So I will be pretty much uh, actually of speed all the time throughout the rest of the game. Think rapid. In fact, actually, can I read the boots? Long boots makes walking in sand easier. Oh, is it just sand? I thought it was water as well. Other armor. Trinity vest of Kamois arm leather. Don't know what Kamois is, but hey, it's more defensive, apparently. Ah. Yay! A human skeleton lies half buried. The medallion around his name says Paul. Bones have been picked clean by scavengers and bleached white by the sun. Clutched in one hand is a weathered scrap of parchment. Parchment says in barely legible handwriting. To the northwest is a small shrine in which the blessed one can bring sand and heart closer. Have I not been there already? Actually, wait. Okay, double the power still means that it takes, like, two hits to kill those. But, you know, regardless. I find it funny, though, that they go through this entirety of the game. Or entirety of the part of the game. And, um... Yeah, I'm not exactly sure where else it is that I need to use that, use the sand things. Huh. A second dude named Paul? Is your school says Bell Legible Northwest is Hidden Shrine. Unless now I can use the, oh hey, that's right. I never managed to... Get this one. Whee! Herb. I guess I didn't need to do the same thing, but still. Huh. Wasn't able to go this way before. Interesting place. it? I say interesting, it's more desert, but, you know. Hello. There's water here. But, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly call an episode here. When we return, we have successfully gone through the ancient shrine, so now there's desert to explore. Yay! Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it, and as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers!